Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here again for another how to transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2007 Deluxe Class Decepticon Swindle and Decepticon Payload. Now, both of these characters were released in correspondence with the with the uh, first live action Transformers movie. However, neither one of these characters featured in the movie, but they were featured in the cor in the corresponding video game as Decepticon drones that you would fight against during the Autobot campaign on different levels. So what I'm going to do first today is I'm going to show you a couple of details that Swindle and Pay Payload have while they're in their vehicle mode, and then we will get on to transformation. So for right now, we're going to move Swindle, or we're going to move uh, Payload off to the side, and we're going to bring Swindle in for a close-up. As you guys can see here, Swindle's vehicle mode appears to be some type of either maybe a Chevy or a Ford. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I have to admit, I do like the uh, silver color that they put on the doors and the quarter panels right here. If you look right here, you'll see that he has the Decepticon symbol as a hood ornament. Hood ornament. And if you look right here and right here, he has the Decepticon decals on the back. Now, there is actually an Autobot counter, uh, an Autobot uh, model of this uh, design. Uh, he is silver and blue, and if I remember correctly, his name is Camshaft. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the figure, although I would like to add it to my collection someday. Um, one thing I like is that, uh, and this is actually kind of a funny feature, uh, if you look on the back of him, you'll see that there is a button, and if you push it, an afterburner pops out of the back of him. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> a little interesting for a car, but it's still kind of cool, and it's just spring-loaded, just push it right back in and then it gets covered up by what would be the trunk hatch. But anyway, so there's Swindle. All right, so now I'll show you Payload. As you guys can see here, Payload's vehicle mode is that of an armored, armored truck. He has uh, armored security services uh, tag right there with the Decepticon symbol. He's got even got the um, big matching double doors in the back, which I think is a great detail, especially since they added even the, the um, handles and the window. Uh, I love the amount of detailing that's on the uh, side of the truck right here with all this grating. And I especially love that he has this huge giant uh, grill to protect the front of the truck. And just so you guys know, this does come off. Um, so if it does fall off, it's designed to. So don't worry about it. You just pop it right back on. I especially love that with the tires, they added quite a lot of detailing with the uh, treads. That tire is actually a little wobbly. Must be bent. Sorry. Um, and then this piece right here, I'm guessing this is maybe like a gas tank or something. I don't entirely know, but we'll be getting on, we'll be getting into that, uh, later on as we go through the video. All right. So there is payload. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into transformation. So we're going to bring swindle back in. Now, Swindle's transformation is actually pretty pretty simple to do. What we're going to start by doing is you'll see that there is a little connector pin right there. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect it from there. And we're going to come over here and do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front wheel and we're going to bring it out to the side just like that. And bring it out to the side just like this. Because these are going to form uh, Swindle's arms. Next thing we'll do is we'll come right here. We're going to grab his hand and we're going to flip it out just like this all the way straight. And there's his arm. I love the uh, armor plating that they put on the arm right there. Come over here. We'll do the exact same thing. Flip that out straight. And there, I guess if Swindle wants to, he could drive by and grab something. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to pull, his, pull the uh, back end of the car apart. And we're going to bring this up out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this down right here and flip this out right here because this is going to become his heel. All right. So the next thing we'll do, do the same thing over here. And we'll flip that out just like that. And there we have Swindle's heels. Next thing we'll do is we're going to take this whole section and we're going to bring it on down and straighten the legs. So... I apologize. I don't think you guys saw that. I'm so sorry. But what I did was I disconnected the uh, uh, window panels right here. And we just brought it straight down just like this. Next thing we'll do is we'll fold this down. 
and we'll bring it up into his chest just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll come right here and his waist is on a little bit of a swivel and we're gonna give it a 180 degree turn because that way his legs are facing the correct way. And then what we'll do is we'll flip in the red pieces right here. Those will form his knees. So, so far his legs should look like that. I know they don't look the absolute gl glamorous. Uh, truth be told, the joints on my guy are really loose. So I'm just trying to be careful. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna flip open uh, Swindle's head by, excuse me. So we have his hood right here and when you push it down, his head will spring up into where it goes. So his head, his top's just like that. Push that down, pops up. Then what we'll do is we'll bring this down and shove all that into his chest. And then what we'll do is we'll come back here, we'll fold his head the rest of the way out and we'll bring up the wheel to sit, or the windshield to sit behind his head just like that. So we had it down just like that, pulled his head up and flipped that back just like that. And there we have Swindle. As you guys can see here, Swindle's transformation was was moderately simple. Like I said, the, the joints on my guy are really loose, so I apologize if that was a little sloppy. But anyway, so there we have Swindle, transformed and ready to go. In my personal opinion, I think that, um, let me think, there are four, um, we're gonna, I'm just gonna use the word cycloptic, uh, Decepticons uh, in the uh, toy line that I can think of. I can think of Dreadwing, Overcast, swindle and then of course his repaint or his uh, counterpart camshaft i honestly think that those guys were designed to be mo or more modeled after shockwave because i do know in the video game shockwave is actually a boss in i believe it's the cityscape area um and shockwave is notorious for only having one eye but anyway so there is swindle and then what I think is cool is that if you want to uh, use, if you want to use his cannon, uh, the switch is now down here uh, behind his bottom. Uh, it's a little difficult to press, but it does actually deploy. So he has a little laser cannon. But anyway, there's Swindle. All right. So now we're going to set him off to the side and we're going to bring Payload back in. Now Payload, um, this is actually one of the oldest figures I have in my collection. Uh, if you guys remember when I did my landmine, my landmine video, landmine was one of the first Autobots. Payload was actually the first Decepticon that I ever got. So, or one of the first Decepticons, excuse me. So for his transformation, it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do first is we're going to pop off the grill of the truck and we're going to set that off the side because we're going to be using that later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the whole top section of the truck right where this seam is. And we're going to pull it free off the top, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right here. Oh, I guess payload also has one eye. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and come right here. Now there's some double hinges right here. So what we'll do is we'll fold out and then fold down and then fold that down. Man, he's got some dust on him. Sorry, guys. I need to dust these a little more apparently. <laughs> All right. So what we did is we got the double hinge. Fold it out, fold it down, fold it over, just like that. And there we already have Payload's head ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and where these plastic panels are, we're gonna grab them and we're gonna pull the wheels down. And we're gonna pull the wheels off of them. And then we're gonna grab this whole section and we're gonna bring it free and spin it around just like that. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll come right here and we'll flip up these blue panels right here we're gonna go ahead and pull these apart because these sections right here will actually fold up. This will fold down. And there we have one of Payload's legs. So we'll flip this down, flip this back and Payload's legs are ready to go. I know he doesn't look like much just yet. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, and then one thing that's also nice is that he does actually have, like if you have his arm, his legs folded down like this, you'll see that he's got these gray panels and they will actually slide up out of his leg and they're like kneecaps. I don't know if they're like designed to keep his knee from built, bending or whatever, but it's still a nice little uh, feature that they added to him to give him a little more armor. 
And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here, we're gonna grab this wheel and we're gonna bring it all the way around, peg it into that wheel right there and then bring this down just like this. Flip this open and fold out his hand, close that and then give this a turn and then his wrist, he does actually have a wrist joint so his wrist can actually turn but there is one of Payload's arms. So we'll come over here, do the same thing, peg that in, bring this down, flip this open, fold out the hand, close that, turn the elbow and turn the wrist. And there we have his arms. Now, obviously you guys are gonna say that he shouldn't be hanging that far, this far off of his uh, body. That's because he doesn't, because this uh, piece right here will actually slide into this tank so what we'll do is we'll slide this in just like that and then flip this back onto it just like this. And there we have payload. Now I know some of you guys are wondering, well, what about that piece we took off? Well, that's what I'm, uh, I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. Let me just get him stable. There we go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we'll take this piece and we're gonna put it back on where we took it off from because this is actually a handle for this little, this little beauty. Because what this does is when you push on that handle, the piece on his chest will actually come out, will actually spring out, and he's got this huge grappling claw that he can use. Uh, it's not a perfect um, thing, but I've always thought it was so cool that they made uh, figures that have these little tools built into them. His isn't perfect. Uh, I don't think any Transformer is absolutely perfect. Uh, please don't bite my head off for that comment. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so there we have Payload and Swindle. All right, so there we have the 2007 uh, Transformers Deluxe Class Swindle and Payload. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below, even hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell and I will do what I can to help you out as we go. Until then, bye.